Hello everyone, my name is Itcha and I'm a third year MBBA student at Government Medical College and Hospital Jharkhand. My second year result was announced a couple of days back and I'm happy to share with you all that I scored 733 or 900 and I have topped in my college by getting distinction in all the three subjects. In this video I am going to talk about pathology from scratch beginning from its syllabus the video lectures to watch the books to refer how to write the paper that is paper presentation and how to study for practicals in pathology so make sure that you watch the video till the end and i'll be making subsequent videos on pharma and microbiology so make sure that you subscribe to my channel now let's start the video by talking about the syllabus of pathology in pathology you have general pathology then hematology and systemic pathology in general pathology you have chapters like cell injury and adaptation then inflammation thermodynamic disorders genetics neoplasia etc in hematology you have to study the pathologies of rbc wbc and platelets also blood transfusion reactions etc and in systemic pathology you have to study the pathology of each and every system for example cvs rs um, git genitals etc now that you all have a gross idea about what the syllabus of pathology we'll talk about the video resources that i used for studying pathology what i used to do was i used to watch a video lecture and then go for reading books okay this used to reduce a lot of my time because watching video lectures used to fit that concept in my mind and then i used to strengthen the concept by reading books uh whenever you go for reading books for the first time it's quite difficult for you to understand the concepts so watching a video lecture prior to reading the books will um, save a lot of your time so video lectures i used to watch for videos by dr preeti sharma ma'am she is a faculty from prep ladder and uh, she teaches pathology in a very simplified way she also gives you mnemonics and she also makes sure that all the concepts are clear in your mind okay i also used to refer video lectures from a youtube channel called as i love pathology in that sir has made uh, video lectures on different different topics uh, in pathology so make sure that you check out his youtube channel he's excellent at teaching pathology sometimes i couldn't visualize uh, particular things in pathology so what i used to do was i used to watch lectures from youtube channel called as osmosis or medicosis perfectionalis watching those lectures also used to simplify things for me to a great extent so you may watch those videos for particular topics also okay we talked about the video lecture sources now let's talk about the books to refer the standard textbook for pathology is robins Robbins is a vast textbook and most of us are not able to read it throughout the year and it's completely fine. In my opinion you all should read um cell injury and adaptation, neoplasia, thromboembolic disorders and inflammation from Robbins. This will strengthen your base and if your base is strong the systemic pathology will be very easy for you guys. For systemic pathology and hematology you can watch video lectures and read a book called as Ramdas Nayak. Ramdas Nayak is an excellent book for examination purposes in that all the topics are given in a point wise format flow charts are there diagrams are there and it's quite revisable in the end of uh, second year before your university examinations there's another book called as Harsh Mohan that is popular among students so talking about Harsh Mohan I also tried reading Harsh Mohan and Harsh Mohan is also a good book but I found it a bit faster than uh, Ramdas Nayak so I couldn't be consistent reading Harsh Mohan so in the end it was uh, ramdas nayak that i referred throughout but i referred harsh mohan for diagrams the diagrams uh, in harsh mohan have been drawn in a very nice way using the hne pencils so make sure that you refer the diagrams for harsh mohan for writing paper in the university examination a good paper presentation is surely going to get you more marks so how to write answers in pathology first you have to write the definition of a particular disease you have to write about the pathology of that particular disease if you know the genetics you have to write the genetics then you have to mention the morphological features of that particular disease like its gross appearance its cut section its microscopy and in the end you have to draw the diagram of that particular uh, slide also try to include lots of flow charts and make sure that you write the answers in a point wise format because um paragraph wale writing is quite uh, taxing for all the examiners to read so 
point wise answers are usually preferred and please complete the entire paper and do not miss on any question even if you don't know about the question please write something related to it uh, no question shouldn't be unattempted okay now let's talk about how to study for pathology practical in pathology we have uh, specimens instruments blood grouping urine examination peripheral blood smear etc all these topics have been taught very nicely by a youtube channel called as pathology concepts by dr mithila bist i personally watched all the lectures in those video lectures ma'am has taught everything very nicely she has included all the questions that can be asked in vivas she has made a playlist of all the topics you watch those lectures and your practicals will be sorted now, now let's talk about the histology slides most of us find uh, it difficult to identify the histology slides so for this the only solution is ki you have to attend your practicals in that practical you all are shown slides okay. try to discuss those slides with your friends try to discuss about the identification points about the slide about how the slide looks under the microscope what all are the pathologies related to the slide etc okay what i personally did was i used to take out the pictures of uh, slides that were shown in our uh, practicals and i used to label those slides in my ipad before exams i used to go through those slides again and again isse kya hota tha ki the image mujhe yaad rehta tha and i used to be able to identify that slide in spotting in less than 10 seconds okay so this is also a good idea for spotting this brings us to the end of the video thank you for watching this video you can obviously ask me doubts in the comment section i'll try to answer your doubts thank you